Today, we will talk about the interbank rate. The interbank rate is the rate of interest charged on short-term loans made between U.S. banks. Banks may borrow money from other banks to ensure that they have enough liquidity for their immediate needs, or lend money when they have excess cash on hand. The interbank lending system is short-term, typically overnight, and rarely more than a week. The term interbank rate also refers to the interest rate charged when banks conduct wholesale transactions in foreign currencies with banks in other nations. Banks are required by federal regulators to hold enough cash in reserve to accommodate day-to-day -day withdrawals from their customers. These liquidity needs are generally managed by borrowing to cover any shortfall and lending to earn a modest interest on any excess. The rate of interest earned on the bank's money is based on the current federal funds rate, also known as the interbank rate or the overnight rate. This rate is actually set by the banks themselves, and is affected by the discount rate set by the Federal Reserve. The federal funds rate is a tool used by the Federal Reserve to increase or decrease the amount of cash in the system overall. The interbank rate is available only to the largest and most creditworthy financial institutions. The alternate definition of interbank rate is relevant to the interbank market, the global market used by financial institutions to buy and sell foreign currencies. In this case, the interbank rate or interbank exchange rate is the current value of any currency as compared to any other currency. Most of this trading is done by the banks to manage their own exchange rate and interest rate risk, though they also trade on behalf of some large institutional clients. Consumers will get the interbank rate, plus a premium that represents the profit of the company that exchanges the money. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The interbank rate also known as the federal funds rate, is the interest charged on short-term loans made between financial institutions. 2. The term interbank rate may also refer to the foreign exchange rates paid by banks when they trade currencies with other banks. 3. In either case, these are the lowest rates that can be found at any particular time and are reserved for the big banking institutions. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.